May 11th, 2022, I play video games for the last time. It's been over seven weeks since I've touched any games, so here's what I've learned. But first, I want to say that this wasn't by choice, at least not in the beginning. I had to stop playing video games. That's because on May 11th, the last time I played any video games, I began a three week journey through different parts of Europe where I didn't have any access to my computer or games at all. Not only that, but because my phone data costs money every single day to use overseas and was overall, you know, just pretty bad, by the second week, my screen time, you know, the thing that pops up on your iPhone that's kind of just a reminder of how much time you spent on social media or scrolling through TikTok on the toilet, that thing was 34 minutes a day on average, down from an average of seven hours a day while I was in the States, which is just insane to think about in hindsight. So in addition to not playing any video games, I also wasn't really tapped into social media for what was going on in the world, good or bad. And instead, I was just very present and there in the moment, unencumbered by the same old, same old. Now, as a content creator who got their start on TikTok, it's really, really easy to get lost in the sauce of creating content just for the sake of constantly pushing out what could be your next video to pop off or cause a spike of growth or just a spike in dopamine. And going into this trip, I had pre-made a bunch of videos to post just so I could grasp at that feeling even while abroad. And then, then I just didn't. I didn't post a single one and I didn't care about it. I let go for a short time frame. Some of the pressure that I've put on myself for over a year. No posts on social media, no checking my views on TikTok and not scheming my next way to, to blow up. And instead I just enjoyed my life day to day and the opportunity that was right in front of me. For all of my life, I've used media and video games as a, as a way to escape from the heartbreaks of reality. You know, parents divorce to breakups, bad grades, upset household, lost friendships, the whole bag. Gaming has kind of always been there for me and somehow you can just put on a headset and it all melts away for a little bit. And if you're lucky like I am, you'll be met by friends who, on their own journey, have met up with you in the online space, a group of people all hiding out from the rain together. And you don't know what their boogeyman is, but no matter what ails them, you can sympathize because you too, in your own way, are on the run. So what have I learned? from not playing video games for a month and a half. Well, first off, an obvious one is that gaming just takes up a lot of time. Between being a full-time student, taking care of myself, making content, gaming ate up a lot of my free time. And I actually am the can't end on a loss menace to my friend group that always made us play just longer than we should have been. And then even when I wasn't playing video games, I'm watching content on the video games that I would play. And it literally just never stopped. Every scrap of free time that I had needed to be filled with games or consuming content to alleviate the mental boom that I was low key having from just overworking myself. I never had time to just breathe. Because if I have that time, I'm wasting real life XP by not doing something with it. Secondly, is that some games are just toxic, dude. I have never been a worse person than playing League of Legends at three in the morning after saying we can't end on a loss for the fifth game in a row. And I've never felt worse in my entire pathetic life than getting beamed by a 15 year old on Apex Legends with TTV in their name only to see that they have 27 followers 
and one viewer, which is literally just their mom in the other room with their stream up on their tablet, muted. But they're better than I'll be in my entire life, only to find out that this is an alt account and they're actually just Apex Predator and I'm just a blade of grass that they mow through through high platinum on their way to high elo just so they can make another account and do it again, both terrorizing both ranked and pub lobbies after getting home from school. Third, thirdly, the thrice thing that I've realized is I get a lot more done. I'm gonna say something that we've all heard a million times, but giving yourself time to breathe and to rest your brain can make direct impact on your outlook and your creative output. And I was so obsessed with filling my time to the brim with things to do that I wasn't really seeing how much it negatively affected my work or my mental health. I was deeply, deeply caught up in the grind set that's inescapable and very much pushed within modern media. And I'm way, way more focused on what's important to me, including making videos like this one or this one and sharing my thoughts and experiences with all of you is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. And now I finally feel like I can. Yeah. I do I do miss my friends and I hope they're doing all right, but also maybe talking to them every single day isn't always the best for any of us. And as the saying goes, maybe success really is the lonely road, the upstream battle that you really really have to put your back into to to get anywhere with. I don't know. But this video game detox that I've been on has given me time to breathe and just think about what I want to get done. I think mentally I'm less toxic. And as much as that seems like a joke, it's probably not the best thing to be like kind of upset and angry all the time, even though it's just a game, right? And yeah, it really has just been different. A lot more focus and more time for myself. And I've kind of just been feeling happy. Not to say I wasn't before, but I'm just more consistently doing all right. You know? Now, I don't think I won't ever touch games again or talk to my friends in Discord or even check what's up on Twitter. But I do think I'm doing pretty well with what I've got going on. In fact, I normally stream games and other content on Twitch, so I've also been taking a break from that. But I'm very happy to get this video and others like it finished. Bottom line, if you're feeling lost or constantly overwhelmed and normally play a lot of video games to, to cope with that, I invite you to try and step away and just give yourself a chance to think and to breathe and things are probably gonna be all right, right? Let me know in the comments if you think you're gonna take that break or try something similar, or if this video was just helpful in any other way. And other than that, you know the deal. Subscribe if you're new. This is some of the content I'd like to be making, and okay, funnier things to come. But I figured this was important, so thank you guys for watching.